Hi, I'm Warren G. Harding, and I've got a secret. From Hollywood, the show that reveals all, I've got a secret. And now, let's meet the star of I've Got a Secret, Steve Allen. Good evening. Thank you. Welcome to I've Got a Secret. Tonight's panelists are one of America's favorite comedians. I just put a colon in there, you see. Pat Carroll. Hello. The well-read, well-informed, and well-nigh impossible sometimes, Henry Morgan. The lovely and very clever actress, Anita Gillette. And a chap who's very bright and a bit of all right comedian, Richard Dawson. Yes. Thank you. That's our panel. You know I'm going to hate him. <laughs> and now we might as well see if we can find a contestant backstage. Apparently, we have a little business to take care of before we do the I'm program. I'm sick of this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> You'll eat what we tell you to eat, and don't you forget it. What is your name, sir? John Tartagli. Where are you from, sir? Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks, out in my neighborhood. As you can see, panel, Mr. Tartaglia has brought along four pairs of old shoes, which uh, might look familiar to you, panelists, because they are your old shoes. <laughs> Never you mind how we laid hands on them. Running from side, left to sideways here, we have Pat's shoes, and these are Henry's slippers, and these are Anita's, and these are Richard's, as you might assume. Mr. Tartaglia's secret concerns something he will assist you panelists in doing, which, of course, involves these shoes. If you'll whisper the details to me, Mr. Tartaglia, <laughs> if you start now, we'll be whispering at the same time. Anyway, we'll let the audience know. <laughs> Either that or we'll bump heads. I don't know one or the other. We'll let the audience know what it is you're going to do. <laughs> what was that again, sir? Oh, tell me more, would you please? <laughs> I see. All right, panel, the audience knows the secret, even if Mr. Tartaglia yeah. almost forgot it there for a moment. Mm -hmm. And we're going to ask you to wear these shoes. I'm giving you a lot of hints while Mr. Tartaglia helps you do something. We'll start the questioning with Anita. Oh, I'm going to put them on while you help me do something with those shoes, Mr. Tartaglia? Y yes. Uh, are you going to help me do something uh, physical? Will I be moving my feet? Yes. A little uh, bit, I guess, yeah. I will be moving my feet. Uh, will I be dancing in any way at all? No. Uh, do you, do you, does the shoe itself have something? You're doing something to the shoe itself? In a sense, yes. In a sense, yes. Do you, will you touch me? Yes, I'll touch you. Ooh. Promises, promises. Well, I must say that's laying it right on the line. Uh. All right, one down, three to go. Richard Dawson. He touches you again. You let me know. <laughs> uh, John, are we going to... Uh, we're going to wear those shoes, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Are we going to make a very crude wine by jumping on... <laughs> well, no. No? <laughs> well, no, it's just the first one. The really strange thing, Richard, is that you're going to wear Anita's shoes. That's the <laughs> weird part. No, I'm kidding about oh, that. Oh, I part. always wear those around the house. <laughs> and I'm sick about it. Are, you go are we going to... Uh, we're not going to learn to dance. No. Are you going to put us in concrete blocks and throw us in the river? And teach us Lloyd Bridges diving lessons? In a sense, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got news for you, John. <laughs> uh, I think news you, for you. It, it We're would not confuse finished. you if you took a yes on that. Uh, we better give you a no, no however. Oh, I'll <laughs> accept a no. Thank you. <laughs> What are you going to do? Give us an offer we can't resist, Mr. Tartaglia? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, now, I, I'm taking a clue word from Richard. Are you going to do one of those things like they do at Brahmins <coughs> while we're standing in our shoes? That's it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have to go and do the mafia end of it. <laughs> He's going to help you, panelists, as you've indeed figured out. Uh, put your footprints in wet cement, and then we will take your footprints to the famous Brahmins Chinese Theater, where they will be on display tomorrow, only. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope they have 
police out to stop the crowd. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and you'll be right next to, you know, Clark Gable and Hedy Lamar, whoever else is over there. And Johnny Olson, will you bring them their shoes to slip on, please? Thank you, Johnny. And while they're uh, doing that, Mr. Tartaglia, will you tell me how long have you oh been putting slippers. Star's footprints in uh, Brahma's lobby? Since 1952, the robe was the first one, Gene Simmons. The robe is the name of the movie. I uh, yes. Thought you put somebody's robe in cement. For no. A, you wouldn't recognize it if you did. Uh, how did the theater itself get into that thing? During the construction of the the theater, uh, Gorman invited some of the actors, uh, Douglas Fairbanks Sr. and Mary Pickford and Norman Talmadge, mm -hmm. and uh, so they're stepping off the the car. Step out of the car into some wet cement? Mrs. Talmadge, she stepped in a... By accident? Uh, by accident in a rough cement, doing. and she kept walking, and that was... And that's started, how it started. Uh, Many a great discovery has happened by accident. Well, Mr. Tartaglia, if you'll step right over there, I think you can get right down to business, because right. the panel is ready to have it happen. <laughs> Richard said it could be quick, Sam. <laughs> It's the quickest sand you ever saw. It. Okay. Now Pat's putting a little foot. <laughs> See, we have to put our feet in water first. I'd now like to do a little water okay. dance. That isn't water. All right. That's battery acid. <laughs> and here, okay. walking on the water. And roll it in the front. Time. Roll it in the front. Yeah. <laughs> first you put your two knees close up tight, and then and you, you twist them to the rest, and you roll them to the right. Okay, hit the trap door. <laughs> and Anita's in there. Okay. In there. After Switzerland. tomorrow, these footprints will be at McDonald's oh, Golden right. Arches. <laughs> <laughs> Just look for the fallen arches at the Golden Arches, ladies and gentlemen. Anita, your feet are turning blue. Oh, those are your stockings, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta come back. Will she ever dance again, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, she never danced before. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you, Mr. Tucker. Uh, I've got a secret. We'll continue in just a minute. And now let our next contestant be found behind the Great Wall. Nice to have you with us, sir. Would you tell the panel your name, please? Bill Danch. Bill Danch. And what's your occupation, Mr. Danch? Writer. A writer. And where do you live? North Hollywood. All right. Mr. Danch's secret panel concerns his relationship with these items that you see <coughs> revealed there in that peculiar fashion. One two-headed poncho, <laughs> ten baseball outfits, and one belly board, whatever that is. So if you'll whisper your secret to me, uh, Mr. I know I'm bored with mine, but I didn't think they would actually have it on the market like that. And we'll let the audience know what it is. <clears throat> okay, panel, the audience now knows the secret, which concerns Mr. Danch's relationship to these items you see named here. And we'll start the questioning with Henry. Uh, I pass. <laughs> All right, I'll catch. You have a relationship with a two-headed poncho. <laughs> it's, an it's the plot for an X-rated movie, actually. He likes his two-headed poncho. He doesn't have a relationship with it's, it. Uh, is Marlon Brando in it? <laughs> Forget it. Oh. Oh, by the way, to give you some more hints, let's see some more items. Oh, those are great hints. There's a, well, wait till you see these. One cougar any. clock. Five travel clocks, 12 tote bags, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Mr. Um, yes, Henry. Okay. Are you a professional contestant? No. No. I mean, these look like things you could have won on. Uh... That's the secret, Henry. You knocked it right off. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> Let's see the rest of the list. Seven American flags, five outdoor barbecues, one pair of rubber tied roller skates, one doggy wardrobe, one wild fur coat, two electric shaver, 36 cookbooks, three spice racks, six archery sets, four electric fry pans, one trip to Mexico, $500 cash, one mink stole, one trip for two to Bahamas, and you can Mr. go on like that for hours. And he has. Mr. Danch, do you ever have garage sales? Never. <laughs> you didn't answer the, the major question. Yes. 
What's a belly board? I never found out. I gave it away before I had a chance to look. It frightened me. <laughs> That's an interesting thing. Now, you gave that away. You, you couldn't possibly use all these things in your home. What do you do with most of them? Oh, get rid of them because they're pretty material, most of them. You know, uh -huh. you don't want that. Yes. How uh -huh. do you... Do you have a secret that... Yes. Uh -huh. How you win competition? Yes. 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 As a matter of fact, good, good that you asked that because Johnny Olson is just bringing on stage some demonstrations of... Uh, what you might call Mr. Dench's secret in that he, he knows how to attract attention in the old mail bags. Is that the point, Bill? Yes. The, uh, the key thing is bad taste. You must have that. <laughs> That's because it's on television, and, uh, isn't it? You must be different. You see, everybody enters on three by five pieces of paper, so you look at 20 million of those, and it's too much. And so you try to get different colors and uh, eye-catching things and uh, make them feel a little sorry for you like uh, a bad copy of a dollar bill on something, the American flag so you offend patriots, <laughs> and uh, a hippopotamus with mouth open. <laughs> but you must be different, and that's the whole secret. It's very simple. That's a great, that's very yeah. ingenious. Clever idea. Attract I mean, attention. Somebody just reaches in a bag usually and pulls out uh, something. That's how they do it? Yes, uh, there is a great deal of confusion. There are several contest judging boards. They all lie, I suspect. Some say, <laughs> some say they come on a computer. Some say that the girls just pick them up. Usually, I think girls just pick them out. Otherwise, I couldn't have won all these because I've never won a local raffle. I've never won the Irish sweepstakes. And yet I win in these things. So you say it wouldn't be luck, really. It would be intelligence. No, no it luck, would be your no thinking luck. along these lines bad that would make thinking, you winner. Yes. Yes. Good, bad thinking. Good, bad thinking. Yes, Richard? I am now going to be the next second biggest winner. You know why? Everyone that will see the show will copy your idea, and I shall send my question and answer in <laughs> on a three-by-five white poster. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Mr. Dash. Congratulations to you. Good idea. I we'll be back with our guest star, Frank Lawson, right after these messages. Interesting. <laughs> I remember him. Anyway, now let's meet tonight's guest celebrity. He's an actor, a singer, a comedian, impressionist. He's everybody in our business. Mr. Frank Gorshin, here he is. Hello, Frank. Welcome, Frank. Thank you, Steve. Nice to be here. As you can see, the panel's Hi. chairs are empty. They Where did the panelists go? They're off in a soundproof room, which permits you to tell us all that you're up to tonight. What's your plan? I, uh... First of all, I, I'm a pretty good friend of one of your panelists, Anita Gillette. Oh, yes. Yeah, about four years ago, she and I had the pleasure of opening on Broadway in a show called Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Also, four years ago, she and I had the pleasure of closing on Broadway in a <laughs> show called Jimmy. Well, all shows close eventually. Now, we, <laughs> now what are you going to do We lasted for, for four months in New York. <clears throat> and tonight, I thought, uh, I want to play a trick on Anita. Now, the other panelists are in on this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do, pretend to do some impressions of some political people. But, but I, I'm not going to do actual impressions. I'm just going to make up some kind of voices. Now, all the panelists... And the voices will really be nobody's voices that's at right. all. Yes. I see. All the panelists will know uh -huh. that, you know, what I'm doing. Yeah. But they will guess. Every time I do one of these things, they, they will guess, guess who I'm doing, uh -huh. who I've done. Yeah. Now, I need the audience to help. So because every time they guess one of these people that I, that I have done, mm -hmm. the audience has to acknowledge it, you know... Give them a big hand as if they've really Yeah, give them a big hand. Now, everybody's going to know what's going to be happening except... Anita. I see. She, she's just, just going to be sitting there wondering what's going on. Does that sound like a lot of fun, Steve? Oh, as, <laughs> as, uh, <laughs> as Ralph Edwards used to say, aren't we devils? Okay. Well, now that everybody except one of us knows what's going to happen, let's bring the panel back, for God's sakes. Uh, Where are you playing right now, Frank? I'm opening tomorrow night at the Sahara Hotel in Vegas. Wonderful. Excuse oh. me, Steve and Frank. The panel's yes. on its way in. Oh, they came in very oh, fast, didn't nice. they? <laughs> Well, it's probably just as well. Did you tell the panelists that I'm opening on t at the Sahara <laughs> tomorrow night? Oh, they'll probably read about it. Hi, panel. You all know Frank Orshin. Hi. Hi, Frank. Frank, you all Hi, know the panel. Uh, Hi, neat. Hi. We're playing a little different game, Hi, Dick. panel, with uh, Frank tonight. He's going to answer <clears throat> some of your questions, of course, <clears throat> but he's going to do it with impressions, impersonations of political figures that he's never done before, really. One character for each of you, and you keep asking him questions about that character until you finally guess, if you're lucky, who he is pretending to be. See? Okay, okay we'll start the questioning with Richard Dawson. All 
All righty. Frank, uh, the character you're going to portray, are you alive today? Well, first of all, no, oh, that's Kirk Douglas. Yeah, you think you do. Let me know. <laughs> uh, no, uh, my good man, you, uh, it's very kind of you to ask, but I'm uh, 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 representative of a much earlier era. And you, I gather, you are British? Uh, indeed, indeed, sir, indubitably. I, it has been my privilege to, to serve the good people of the United Kingdom. Uh, were you, sir, ever at any time <laughs> involved politically in the 30s in Great Britain? Gad, sir, you uh, are very, very near the mark. Of course, Richard being British, he would maybe... If I happen to be right, I must congratulate you up front, because that happens to be the most uncanny thing I've heard in American... If you're Neville Chamberlain, that is fantastic. Yes! That's, are you really That's absolutely correct! Right. Really? <laughs> How good are you? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Very, very impressive start on both your parts, I might say, That's gentlemen. Excellent. Now it's time for Earl's turn. Uh, I can add it to the act. Now. Yes. Uh, all right, Frank. Um, what, uh, what, what profession are you? Uh, now you uh, are asking me what profession. Uh, I, uh, I am in the, the field of. Uh, I say I am in the field of politics. In the field of politics, have. Uh, are you in teeth politics? <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you been in politics long? I have been born and bred, born and bred, I say born and bred, through and through, uh, little lady. There is no mistaking the southern accent yeah, and the loose southern, dentures. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. And I would say, were you from the grand and glorious state of Louisiana where uh, I was born? Uh, pardon me, ma'am. Were you from the grand and glorious state of Louisiana where I was born? Well, you are surely correct, my little magnolia blossom. I say you are surely correct. Well, then, you now, can only be one gentleman, uh, Huey P. Uh, Long. Uh, Here we go. That's right. You're really amazing, yeah. Frank. <laughs> I don't believe me. Frank, that's a great person. Okay, Henry Morgan, Mark. see if Thanks. see if you can get the next. Of course, Richard was you know from England, and, and Pat has the Louisiana background, so that, that was maybe a little easier. Let's see how Henry does. It is well, I, you got to do an American, uh, uh, Monsieur. I uh, uh, let me uh, <clears throat> Louisiana. Let me at this point say that uh, my countrymen are thoroughly familiar with the United States of America and have enjoyed uh, friendly relations for. Many, many years. Well, obviously that's French. And are you, um, uh, French? <laughs> well, we're in agreement up to here. Now, are you in politics in France? Because I think I hear a little overtone here. Yes, yes, I am. I you, you, you have a very, uh, very, uh, very delicate ear, Monsieur. But he's not I'm in politics indeed. in France. No, French Canadian, yeah, not so in politics. Big hint for you. Big hint. You're a French Canadian politician. Mm -hmm. I, I can hear it. Do, 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 do two more words. Uh, Pierre give Trudeau. Me two words. Huh? <laughs> may we? Uh, may we? May we, Monsieur Henry? Pierre Henry? Trudeau. Yes. My mac yeah, magnificent. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. 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 Very good. Very good. <laughs> I must say, I'm very proud of you. Yeah. Okay, Anita. Yeah, well, just wait for me. I don't know anybody. Okay. <laughs> no, well, just listen to who he does, and I'm sure you'll get it like the rest I of you. I knew that one, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that one. I mean, could I do that one again? All right, no, Frank. Uh, gee, it's been a long time since I've seen you, Frank. Yeah, it's been a long time, Anita. There's the voice. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you, Wonderful are figure. you uh, from uh, this country? Well, I'm sorry. You'll have to speak a little louder. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you're whispering a lot, aren't you? <laughs> Are you living now? Yeah. Yeah? Paul is living. Yeah. You're living now. And you're in, you're in politics now? Yeah. You are? Uh... <laughs> Are you like a governor or something? Close. Close? Uh, gee, I don't know who whispers. All politicians I know shout a lot, you know. Um... Are you are you hoarse because that's the way you speak? No, I uh, I ski a lot. You ski a lot. It gets cold. It gets cold. 
Are There's you, a big hint are for you up in Maine somewhere? That's, that's... Are you like uh, musky? <laughs> no, he's a little husky, but he's not musky. <laughs> Keep going. You, you may be getting close to it. No, I don't know anybody. From... <laughs> Who is that? No, I know the name. Now, wait a minute. It, I mean, I know that... Is it on the tip of your tongue? I know that person. I can't think of it. Wait a minute. Of course you know it. Wait a minute. What? Listen to me laugh. Maybe that'll help you. <laughs> you know I don't, I can't think of the name. Oh, come on. No, I swear I can't. You all... Oh, oh please. On. You I know it and you can't think of it. Is I, that right? I know and I can't think of his name. <laughs> I can see you right Well, I think, I think the wonderful thing is uh, about you is that your honesty impresses us in this, uh, <laughs> this situation. I mean, you're just telling it, you know, the way you feel it. Is it on the tip of your tongue, Anita? No, it's back in my throat someplace. I, see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of who he is. <laughs> and I know that I know the Happens, that's the best uh, of all the imitations. That's the that's best one. That's the best one of all, yes. Well, I guess we're going to have to tell her I'm sometime. I'm sorry. No, you actually acquitted yourself very well, Anita, it because good, yeah. Frank wasn't imitating anybody at any time. Now, you might think, well, how come the other three were guessing? That's because they were all in on it. It was a little prank on you. <laughs> little joke. <laughs> Can I go another Thank you, Frank Ocean, for all those fantastic impersonations. I've got a secret returned after these words. It accidentally, I mean incidentally, <laughs> Henry wants it known that Trudeau does not have a French accent, right, Mr. Lancaster? Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Frank, thank you so much. It was great fun to have you. Join us again soon, will you? Hey, I'd love to. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank you all, Tyler. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Stacey. Thank you, Paul. This is Johnny Olson speaking for I've Got a Secret, a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production. Recorded and edited for broadcast.